What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Legend Killer 23. I got a great video for you today. It's going to be one of my favorite videos and reviews that I'm doing up this year so far. So we are in AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 3. That's where we're up to right now. Series 4 hasn't come out. Series 5 just got some sneak peeks. And what do you guys think about it? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Um, from a wrestling figure, action figure standpoint, do you like the figures? Do you like the way they look? Do you like the way they move? Do you like the articulation? Um, do you like the characters that they brought out? I want to know all of that. In today's video, we're going to go over the ranking for every single AEW figure that is out right now. Series one through three. Minus two figures, uh, the Brandy Rhodes I don't have in my collection, or the Rio figure I don't have in my collection. Both female figures. Unfortunately, the Brandy Rhodes figure is really hard to get. Haven't been able to see it anywhere in stores. And the Rio figure I've seen up close in the stores, and I don't love it. And again, I'm a guy who buys figures that loves the figure, loves the way it looks, loves the way it's going to be on display, loves the character, follows the character on Twitter and, and Instagram. And those two people, probably not going to be in my collection. As you guys know, my collection is filled with lots of wrestling figures of people who I really invest in and who I like. So in today's video, we're going to go through each ranking all the way from one to whatever I have. I don't know how many figures it is altogether. We'll start at the bottom. I'll tell you which ones are the worst which ones are the best and why. So thank you guys for watching this video. Here's your chance to subscribe before we get started right there at the bottom. Go ahead and do it. And if you're not following me on Instagram, here's your opportunity to check out my Instagram. It's RKO for life 23 on Instagram. RKO for life 23 on Instagram. Most of you guys already follow me anyway, but if you know anybody who wants to follow, go ahead and let them know. You know, we always post some pictures and things like that on the channel. Okay, guys. So let's get started. Let's jump right into it and let's go. All right, guys, starting at number 16. This one right here, for some reason, I just don't love this figure at all. I did want to get the Young Bucks in the collection. Again, both Young Bucks were sleeper figures for me. I really wasn't going back to get them. I picked up the original four figures first or the original three figures first, and then I went back and grabbed this one. Um, but again, this figure right here, just because of the face scan to me, is not the greatest looking. It is okay. Now, the skin tones, of course, was a big deal for everybody from Series 1. I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I love the attire on these figures, um, but I do love the newer attire for the newer Young Bucks a little bit better, especially with the fringes down below. Now, again, the head scan is probably not the best one, not the worst one, but not the best one. So coming in number 16, that is my most least favorite figure out of all the series from one to three. All right, guys, coming in at number 15, this is the brother right here. And uh, this figure is a little bit better. That's why I rank this one a little bit higher, just because this head scan to me looks a lot more like him. So I thought this one was a little bit better. Again, same attire, same body, um, same skin tones that are really light skin. But I think this head scan looks a lot more on point. And that's why this figure is at number 15. Number 14, we have another Young Buck. We have this one, of course, again, is a much better attire. That's why these rank a little bit better than the last ones. The little fringes. The outfit, the attire, the blue, the gold, the little jacket. One negative thing about this jacket, it doesn't open here. It doesn't open on the back. It only opens by you taking the head off and sliding this off the top. So these figures alone, again, that's why they're coming in a little bit lower in the rankings. But as far as the head scan, this was the one that everybody was going crazy for and they thought that it looked crazy. But honestly, it looks really like him, just kind of screaming. Um, it's a little bit better than the first one but it's not as good as it could be. And of course, we'll get more Young Bucks down the line. So we'll hope to see these soon. Let's get into number 13. Coming in at number 13, of course, we can see that this head scan is a lot better than his previous head scan. Again, the attire with the little tassels on the, the legs look really good. The same jacket being the elite, a great looking figure all around. I think they did do some improvement here with the head scan. It looks a lot more like him. Again, the skin tones are a lot better. And that is my number 13 ranking out of all of the figures that I own right now. All right, let's get into number 12. Number 12 brings us Pac, the bastard Pac. So of course I do like this figure. I did want to get it. Um, the only downfall to this figure, of course, is the head scan. The head scan, for most people say that it does not like look like him, but I can tell you right now, guys, just looking at it very up close and on camera, you can see the likeness in the the, the figure, right? Um, you know, uh, Pac is very diesel, very cut up, and he looks great. Um, he did come with one accessory, and that was his chair. The downfall on that, of course, is the chair didn't have any logos on it. At number 11, we have the MJF. Um, I do like this figure a lot. Again, it is number 11 for me. To me, there's a lot more better figures that came out than this one. 
but he's on point. The scarf looks great. The AEW microphone, the head scan is super on point. You can see it from here, guys. And if you have this figure, you know it's really good. The red attire is really nice. On the chase, of course, you get the pink, but this one comes in red, which looks really cool. And then, of course, on the chase, you also get the championship ring that he has on from AEW Tournament. But this figure looks great. It's a great addition. Again, skin tone is on point. Body, face, everything looks good. The tattoo on the side looks really good as well. And that is numero 11. Coming in at number 10, we have Dustin Rose, The Natural. Now, I did a post on Instagram about this figure and how great it looks. Um, I took lots of pictures of it because it has lots of great details. Again, it's not my favorite figure out of the 16 of them that I own, but it is number 10. Um, it's getting into the top 10 right now. So this figure looks great just all around. Head scan looks on point. Tattoos look on point. The body scale is a little bit tall. That's what kind of makes it a step down for me. It could have been about a quarter of an inch smaller, but again, nonetheless, a great figure to add to the collection. So there we are at number 10. Let's go ahead and look at number nine. Number nine is Ray Phoenix. He looks awesome, man. I mean, this figure came out really good. I know a lot of people had some bad head scans where the eyes you couldn't see, but on this one, you can see that it did not come out that bad. It looks really good. Um, the body and everything looks on point. The skin tone is on fire. The outfit is pretty good. They could have did a little bit better, but this is still really good. As far as tattoos goes, everything looks on point. And it is Ray Phoenix. That is my number nine figure that I like out of all my AEW figures. Let's get into number eight. All right, guys, here's number eight. We have Hangman Page. Everybody loves Hangman Page. This is a great figure all around. You got the bandana, which we wanted to cover the face. We didn't get it. It's okay. The vest looks good. The elbow pads and knee pads. The biggest thing are the feet. They're gigantic. And I think this is something that you just might have messed up on. If you guys saw my post again on Instagram about his feet and MJF. MJF looks like he's wearing a boy's size 5. And Hangman looks like he's wearing a men's size 15. So very big shoes, but I guess big shoes to fill, right? Um, awesome wrestler, awesome concept. And we're getting some more Adam Page figures too, which is great. So there he is right there. Let's get into the next one. It's getting tougher and tougher, guys. Coming in at number seven, Ayacieto Mero. I think this is one of the best figures right here. Um, Penta, he just looks really good. Just all around, the attire is really good. The black and white. I wish we would have got the black and red attire, which is probably going to come somewhere down the line. But his figure's on point. The mask looks great. The tattoos look great. Skin tone is on point. There's really nothing wrong with this figure. If it wouldn't be three other four figures that I like more, this being the top three as far as which figures I like the most out of the series so far. But this is a great looking figure, man. You got to have this in your collection. And as we wind down and we get down to the top six, you guys will really see why I like those figures a lot better. So let's go right into number six. All right, guys, number six, you have the AEW current champion. It's Kenny Omega. And we love Kenny Omega. Of course, everything that he's doing right now is the right thing that's going on at AEW. Um, him being the champion definitely has taken the, CV, the TV show to another level. Now, with this attire, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, his newer figure that's coming out in Series 4 is going to look a whole lot better. But here's the big thing about this figure, the foot. Now, most of you guys that have this figure know that the foot has a big problem with being really super loose. It just wiggles around all day. Same thing with the legs. Everything else is on point, of course. The body skin tone is not that great. It's from Series 1, so they hadn't fixed that problem yet. But the figure itself is great to have. Kenny Omega as an action figure is really awesome. So we're glad to have him. But that is number five. Let's get into number five. Guys, as we get into the number five pick that I like out of all 16 of these figures, I got to go with Cody Rhodes. Of course, this is the boss, the big man, the man who brought it all together. Now, the figure looks great. To be honest with you, there's no flaws on this figure at all. There's just... Four more figures that I like better than this one. But the skin tone is what kind of hurts it. Of course, what we saw um, at ToyCon last year and what we got was a big difference. Um, I hope that these get improved a lot better. I know I saw some of Cody's figures that came out recently with the better skin tone. And of course, they look better. But this one looks like he's got red lipstick over here. The blonde hair is a super little bit bleachy blonde to me. The rest of the attire looks great. Came with the hammer. Um, similar to kind of Triple H. I guess it was a nod to that. But great figure nonetheless. That is my number five figure that I love the most out of all my AEW figures. Let's go ahead and get into number four. Okay, guys, here we have Chris Jericho. 
the Demo God, all the many names of Chris Jericho, the Champion. Um, this figure looks awesome. I love that it came with the jacket, the scarf, the hat. The accessories were on point. This is another figure. There's no real flaws on this figure besides the skin tone. I think the face scan looks awesome. It looks super official. And the black gloves comes with two different gloves. It comes with all the great tattoos, all the new tattoos too, updated to Jericho that we haven't had on an elite figure. I love the boots. I love the knee pads. Again, I love the hat. Everything about this figure looks pretty awesome, guys. So that is my number four figure. Let's get into number three. We're getting down to the top three, guys. Number three coming up. There he is, number three. The man, the myth, the legend, Orange Cassidy. Love that the thumb is kind of down like this and not a regular thumbs up. That is the coolest thing about it. You got the shirt. Here's the flaw about the shirt. Doesn't come off. It's not a shirt you can put underneath the jacket. It's actually Velcroed to the jacket, if you didn't know that. The pants, very something different where you can actually put the hands in the pants. That's a different different thing that I've seen in any figure that I've been collecting for years now. Um, it's very intuitive. I'm glad that AEW and Jazzware has decided to make something like this because it needed to be done for this character. Head scan is on point. Comes with some great accessories like the glasses and the different sets of hands. But again, this is Orange Cassidy, man. This got to be huge for him and for everybody. Everybody loves this figure. I think everybody's waiting to get this one still in Series 3. And it's probably one of the biggest sellers out there right now. So that's number three. We're getting down to the top two. All right, guys. Here's number two. John Moxley. Of course, if you guys saw the beginning of the video, you saw me wearing my Dean Ambrose t-shirt. Big fan of Dean Ambrose. I love the character all around. I, I love him all around together. I think he's great for wrestling. And I think he did a really good job coming in as the AEW champion after Jericho. The second AEW champion right now. The figure looks great. The vest is awesome with the mocks on the back, the army pants. Everything is looking good from top to bottom. The head scan with the scar on the head, that is great. I really like the way they did that. And of course, we're getting a new Moxley already, possibly, fingers crossed, with the eye patch, which is going to be awesome. But that's my second favorite figure out of all of them. And I think you guys would agree that this is one of the best figures. Besides the, the legs being a little bit longer than they should be and him being a little bit taller, uh, the figure all around looks on point. I mean, just look at that face, guys. You can see it right there. He looks awesome. So that's number two. Let's get the drum roll for number one. And here he is coming in at number one. We have Darby Allen. Guys, this has got to be the greatest accessory to come with a wrestling figure of all time. We have the skateboard. Darby all in. And you guys can see that right there. This is my paper championship, of course, that I made because I don't have a real one. My little bootleg championship. But I had to put a belt on him, man. He's the TNT champion. You got the jacket. You got the, the head sculpt was on point. The attire is right on point. The boots look great. The shorts. Everything looks great on this figure. The face paint, all of that. Of course, we don't get too many accessories with it. It would have been nice to have the belt, but it's too soon for that. He wasn't the champion when they were thinking about this figure. Of course, he comes in the chase version, and he should. He's one of the most popular characters on AEW, and I absolutely love this figure. So again, this is my number one figure of all time, guys. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, you rank them. You leave a comment down below. You let me know who's your favorite from 1 to 16. I got to say Darby Allen is really the best figure just all around, all together, everything that comes with it. Cassidy could have been number two. Jericho could have been number two, but I really do like Moxley, guys. So again... Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate everybody. Leave a thumbs up or a thumbs like this. Comment below and definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.